So this morning we've come out to take a look at this property here, which is chain free. Uh, it's in Pemberton Walk. It's got three bedrooms and a garage at the back. Uh, it's ideally situated uh, for local shops and schools. It faces this little green here, so quite a nice situation. Um, let's go inside and take a look, see what you think. So just as we come in the front door, you've got um, a utility area, really. You've got plumbing for a washing machine and space for a fridge freezer. And then that door there leads to the cloakroom. So from the entrance hall now, then coming into what is the lounge diner. Uh, I'll do this in two sections so you get a better idea on size. So this is the dining room end. OK, and then that door's going back into the hallway, of course. So dining room end. And then if we step across uh, to the sitting room area and that window overlooks the back garden as you can see and you've got the gas fire there which I think has a back boiler to it for the central heating and just to show you the same room again so you can see the dining room you've got the door that goes into the hallway and the door to the left is into the kitchen and then the sitting room side as well and then you've got a further door that goes into the rear hallway And then as you can see, we're now in the kitchen. Uh, this kitchen window overlooks the front gardens and then uh, that door goes into the dining area. Okay. I'm just standing in the back hallway uh, and to the left here is an understair cupboard but it's got an automatic light and is really good size so plenty of storage in there and they're using it a bit like a pantry cupboard. Um, this is therefore the dining room and then just spinning around this is the staircase, uh, obviously, to upstairs, so let's go and do that. So upstairs on the landing now, uh, you've got an airing cupboard. That's the door to the shower room, uh, wet room. Bedroom one straight ahead in view now. Bedroom two, and then bedroom three to the left. So the first room we're looking at is bedroom one. A bit difficult to judge uh, scale on this one because there's no bed here, but it's a really good sized double, I would say. And this one overlooks the rear gardens. And again, the same room, but just from the other angle. And that door, therefore, is onto the landing. So this is bedroom two. Um, that door there is onto the landing. And then obviously you can see where the bed would go. And then this window overlooks the front gardens. But uh, definitely another very good double bedroom, this one. And then this is bedroom three. It's a bit difficult with the video uh, that we use uh, to get everything in because it's not wide angle. So bear that in mind that uh, the space you see is probably a bit bigger in real life than it looks on the video. This is the wet room. Obviously, it would have been a bathroom at one stage, but it's been converted to a wet room. Uh, clearly, you could put a separate shower cubicle in here uh, if you wanted. So, as you can see, uh, it's a bit windy today and it's a bit grey, but this is the back garden, which does catch the sun quite nicely, actually. Uh, you've got a timber shed and also a brick-built shed. And then the gate there leads down to the garage, which I'll show you in a second. So you can see this is the garage, the one with the red door. Uh, the gate therefore leads into the garden and you've clearly got parking to the front of the garage as well. So finally, just to show you the garden from the other angle as well. So this is the back of the house. You've got quite a sheltered spot there on the patio. Um, now if you'd like to come out and take a look at this chain free property, do that by just giving us a call on 01284 755 26.